Hey guys, happy Friday, Easter weekend. Hopefully everyone will be off and get to enjoy it. I have to work, so I'm going to cook today. Anyway guys, today it's a little chilly here in Vegas, breezy and rainy, so I'm going to do something warm. Alright, so I'm going to do some lasagna roll-ups. Guys, it's basically the big pan of lasagna, but they're rolled up. I've never done these, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm sure they're going to be okay. So, first of all, I'm going to go over your ingredients. You're going to need, guys, you can do whatever your filling is you want, you can do, and I'll tell you what I'm using. You're going to need one box of lasagna noodles, a little bit of olive oil, one egg, a 16, um, sorry guys, uh, uh, this is a 15 ounce of ricotta cheese, and I like the whole milk because it's not as watery, and I cut up uh, half of a bunch of fresh spinach, and I washed it and then just chopped it. This is going to be fried into with the Italian sausage, and I've got the mild. And guys, we didn't have the already uh, freshly, it's just a whole solid pack. I had to get the links, and I'll have to remove this out of the skin, same thing. So, the Italian sausage with the spinach, uh, which I'll show you as, as soon as I get that step started. That's going to be my filling with the ricotta cheese, and then you're going to need uh, one cup of Parmesan cheese, and one, three cups of mozzarella cheese, but you're going to split in half. One and a half for the filling, and the other half is going to go on top. And then the sauce, I noticed a lot of people just doing sauce. Just, no. I'm, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to do the sauce, but I have to have meat in my uh, lasagna sauce. You can use, I'm using the Prego. I love Prego because it's thicker. Uh, you can use marinara if you want, whatever your choice is. So, with the sauce, one pound of ground beef and a half a chopped onion and then i've got salt pepper and garlic about a teaspoon of each season your meat your burger however you want i'll probably put a little bit of italian seasoning in there so this is going to be my uh ingredients um and then i'm going to uh, show you what i'm going to do with the sausages real quick when i come back and then we're going to get this going so hold on tight guys i don't want to show you all guys if you can get the package of sausage that's out of the skins we were just out of it but um i want to show you i'm taking the skins off of this you can use regular breakfast sausage but it's not as good as the italian so that's how i just want to show y'all just uh robert hey robert robert wells is our meat man at smith's and i was fussing because we didn't have the other but he said oh just show him how to take the skin off your sausage in your video so thank you robert but anyhow there you go i'm going to do all this sausage i'm going to get it in the skillet frying and i'll be right back with you all All right, so, um, y'all, I got my sausage in my electric skillet. I did put a little bit, about a tablespoon of olive oil in here to give it a little bit of seasoning. You do not have to season your sausage. So, I'm going to cook this until it's done, nice and brown. And then, uh, when that gets done, I'm going to add my spinach to it. And I've already got my little water over here getting ready to boil for my pasta. And I always put uh, probably two, two, three tablespoons of salt in my water, guys. And then um, I actually put a little bit of, of vegetable or olive oil in there to keep my noodles from sticking. So anyway, I'm going to get the sausage fried up, and I'll be back when I go to add my spinach. So stay with me. Now I'm going to fire my cameraman. No, I'm not. I'll keep him. Okay, so guys, I got my sausage all browned up. Now, you want to put your spinach in. I did a half of a bunch of fresh spinach, washed it, and chopped it. And all you're going to do, let me get rid of my favorite little tool, y'all. Um, we're just going to keep stirring this in, and you want to cook this in until it wilts. So, this is the filling with the ricotta cheese, and the other cheese is for my um, lasagna roll-ups. Now, Bobby's, I'm going to make, just use the meat sauce. So, I'm going to actually do two pounds of burger, but you only need one if you're, it, it depends on how... Guys, if you use the sausage, Italian mild's good, and I'm putting the spinach with the ricotta because spinach goes good with um, Italian sausage. You could, I guess, use any kind of green, but this gives it that flavor. So I'm gonna get this to where it's cooked down. My noodles, my water is still boiling. I should have that going, but it's coming up. It won't take long. And then I'm gonna work on my meat sauce. So I'll be back with you in just a few minutes. 
Okay, everyone, so I got my uh, sausage and my spinach where I want it. I'm going to uh, take this out. You don't have to drain it. I'm going to uh, put it over here in my bowl and set this aside. I'm going to start on my meat sauce. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, so now I'm going to do my meat sauce. Um, guys, I'm doubling this, so I'll just give you the basic. Look, if you, once you get your filling made, if you're doing the spinach, Italian sausage, you really don't need the meat sauce as your filling. If you want to put just uh, sauce in your uh, filling, a little bit of sauce, I'll show you that later. That's fine. If you want to put the extra sauce on the top when it goes in the oven, you don't have to have meat sauce or meat in it. You can just do the sauce, but I always put meat in my sauce. I don't like just plain old straight up sauce. So anyway, uh, I'm doubling this because I've got to have some for Bobby's meat uh, lasagna roll-ups. I got my water boiling so I can get my pasta in. So, two pounds of burger, and I'm doing a half a cup of chopped onion and my seasonings. Salt, garlic powder, black pepper. Season your meat however you want, guys. Um, I was going to put some Italian seasoning, but I'm not because that's in my prego. So, this is the base for your uh, sauce. So, as soon as I get this done, I'll be back with you all. So, everyone, I'm back. Okay, so my burger is done. And I'm going to do... Now, remember, guys, if you're... I'm making two batches, so you really only need one jar of sauce, one pound of burger. That's all you need for your filling and what goes on the top but I'm doubling because I'm making one with the spinach and sausage and one with meat because somebody doesn't like ricotta no names but anyhow and guys I'll rinse that little jar out but this is going to be uh, the meat filling for Bobby's and then it's going to be just the um, sauce for my spinach ones and I'll show you when that comes but anyhow guys you don't really have to cook this but I'm going to keep it on low so my burger doesn't, you know, get uh, settled. But I drained it all, so I should be good. So there's the meat sauce, guys. That's a wrap, and I'll be with you, and we're going to start putting these together. See, my noodles are done. All right, so my noodles are done. Guys, you do not have to over cookies. Just cook them until they bend. And you can just, you know, not over. You don't want to cook them over too much because they're going to cook in the oven. So I'm probably going to have enough noodles for both batches of my rolled ups but um there's quite a few in the box but you always want extras in case they tear but i don't think any of mine tore so i'm good to go and i did after i drain it uh rinse them with some cold water just to get that uh cooking to slow down so guys as soon as uh these settle and get cooled i'll be back and we're going to put the uh filling together so stay with me y'all all right guys i'm back so now we're going to put the filling together so First of all, I'm going to take my 15 ounce of ricotta, and guys, like I said earlier, get the whole milk, it works better. Back in the day when I used ricotta in lasagna for my girls, I always used the whole, whoops, whole milk, not the skim milk. So I'm going to put this, the ricotta, and just beat my egg a little bit, because you don't want the egg to cook in your lasagna, you'll have scrambled eggs in it. All right, so first of all, I'm going to get this mixed up. Blend it up. So your one container of ricotta and one egg. Now guys, if you're doing uh, the meat filling, you just put your um, sauce in with this or however you want to do it. Like I said, somebody doesn't like ricotta, so I'm doing his separate. But this is just the one I'm making with the Italian sausage and the spinach okay so we got this all mixed up so next i'm gonna put in my this is gonna be my filling you don't need any of this to put on the top because i'm putting meat sauce and uh your sauce on the top if you don't want to use meat sauce will just be plain sauce and we are going to dribble a little bit of sauce once i get these uh start filling them i'll show you so this is just the ricotta cheese one egg your sausage spinach if that's what you're using as your filling okay and I'm gonna put in about a cup of mozzarella I'm probably just gonna do half a cup y'all and I'm gonna do half a cup of Parmesan because we're gonna be doing more cheese on the top like I said this is basically your filling so as soon as I get this mixed 
I'll be back and I'm going to get the noodles set up and we're going to be ready to roll. Hi everyone. Thanks for staying with me. Okay, so I'm, uh, guys, you can put cellophane down and do all your noodles at one time anyway. I'm probably going to need, uh, maybe 10 for my dish. I did put a little bit of sauce on the bottom. That's to keep them from um, sticking. And remember, if you don't use meat sauce, just pour, I got some regular sauce here, just pour regular sauce in the bottom just a little bit. All right, so I started these. I got my noodles on my cutting board. And guys, I used about a, um, probably like an ice cream scoop. I used a, a scoop and a half on my spoon. And I already showed you I spread some of these out already. So what you want to do is just, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. But you want to leave uh, this end down here a little bit from the edge because that's where you're going to start rolling. And like I said, this does not have to be perfect because it's getting rolled up. Guys, I kind of like making these better than I do regular lasagna. And they're easier to eat too because you just have to scoop one out. And Guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you all try this. Anyway, okay, so there's my filling. And then I kept a little bit of sauce. Guys, I'm just going to dribble this right down the middle. Just a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not putting the meat sauce in here because the meat sauce is going to go on top. I just want my Italian sausage with the ricotta and spinach in this. And there we go. So I'm going to show you how we're going to roll these. Let me do some switcheroo here, y'all. You know, I'm a lefty. All right, if that's too little bit, it's not going to matter. So you just start rolling. You don't want to roll it real tight, guys. Just keep it a little loose. And like I said, that might be a little too loose. You don't want to um, make them too full. And that's about right, right there. So there you got your little sausage roll. Not pretty. And we're going to put them, I'm assuming, this way. So there you go. Just tuck, roll. I always manage to squish stuff out the ends, but it's all right, guys. And make sure you put the seam side down. So I'm going to finish rolling. Uh, see how many I get in this pan, because these are going to work. Bobby won't eat those. So I'm going to finish rolling, and as soon as I get this done, I'll be back with you, and we're going to get this in the oven. And guys, preheat your oven to 375, I forgot to tell you. So stay with me. We're almost done. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I got these all rolled up. And I just fit them in my dish, however. So, they are perfect. I had enough filling, enough noodles. I have like three left over. I'm going to boil some more for Bobby's, but other than that, it's good. So, here's the last step. All right, you're going to take a little bit of sauce. Guys, just dribble this down the middle. Now, remember, I've got sauce in here for two batches. So, you're not going to have all this sauce. But you should have enough left over for your meat sauce. Guys, these, I like doing these. You all know I like fun things. And you don't want to get too much on here, but enough to just to cover, basically. And you really don't have to even cover it all the way. Bobby will be saying, get that sauce in that corner. I hear him. He ain't saying it, but I hear him. All right, guys, I think that's plenty of sauce. I'll do one more. It's a wrap. All right, so... Now we're going to take uh, the rest of the mozzarella cheese. Guys, use as much cheese as you want. We like cheese. Just do it to your preference. I'll probably put a little bit more sauce down on this side, guys, just in case. Now I'm content. Do it how you do it, y'all. And I'm also going to take a little bit of my leftover Parmesan and sprinkle on the top. So, guys, this is going in the oven probably 45, 40, 45 minutes. And then we're going to take it out. And then we're going to stick it under the boiler for about 10, maybe 7 to 10 minutes. Probably not even that. Just let that top cheese brown a little bit. And it's done. So, there you go, guys. I'm going to get this in the oven. And as soon as it's out, I'll be back and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, everyone so I am done I just I'm gonna give you a little view I just took these out the oven and guys I did uh, bake these for about 45 minutes and I put them under the broiler for about five minutes so these are nice and cheesy and pretty and done I'm going to let this settle and then I'm going to take uh, one of them out and play it so y'all can see it but anyhow uh, give me about 10 minutes and I'll be back and we'll close out this video
All right, y'all, I'm going to close this video out. Um, I just cut a slice so you all could see it. All nice and cheesy, meaty. I can't wait to taste it, guys. So anyway, there you go. Cooking with Brenda Lee's cheesy lasagna roll-ups. Guys, I hope everybody has a great Friday. Enjoy your Easter weekend. Be safe. Um, remember, if you like my channel, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, turn the notification bell on. So... When I drop a video such as my uh, lasagna roll-ups, you'll be able to watch it. I appreciate everyone. Welcome to my new subscribers. I hope y'all hang with me um, until my next video. I appreciate y'all. Be blessed, and I'll see you all soon.